Have you ever bought a curly hair product because everyone was talking about it? Yeah, me too. Today I'm not only sharing with you my curly hair routine but also my personal strategies on how I broke the impulse buying cycle. Let's make smarter choices together. First up, the clay wash. This is non-negotiable for me because of its super cleansing power. Exactly what my girls need when I'm resetting and trying new products or new product combos. But here's the first personal strategy. I don't experiment with new products until I've thoroughly tested what's already working for me. This clay wash was a keeper after months of testing. Now, deep conditioning time. Here's a major tip. Before buying a deep conditioner, just because someone online swears by it, I make sure to consider my specific hair needs. This was another hard learned lesson for me. And the deep conditioners I stick with are ones that deliver moisture and protein balance for my cuts. My hair craves this one after a clay wash these days. But I don't blindly chase deep conditioners anymore just because they are popular. Your curls will thank you when you stick to what they truly need. As a strategy, I recommend that you have a product ro rotation based on what your hair needs and how your hair is cycling. For example, uh, what your hair loves today it may not like next week <laughs> so is there a deep conditioner or a conditioner that you've stayed loyal to that you've always used and you've always had great results with let me know in the comments now on to styling here's a big personal strategy i use always look for products that can multitask to save time and avoid clutter this styling cream gives me moisture and a little bit of light hold so if i want to use it by itself i can do that but today i want my curls to last at least a week so i will use a gel to lock in my curls meaning i don't need 10 different products for one routine i'll admit i used to impulse buy thinking this will be the miracle product but after a lot of trial and error i've learned that sticking with a simplified routine is way more effective than constantly experimenting picture this you're scrolling through your favorite online store and suddenly you spot the latest curly hair product everyone's raving about before you click add to cart let's take a closer look at what's driving that impulse imagine now you're at a grocery store and you're drawn to a decadent chocolate cake sure it looks irresistible but why do you really want it is it hunger boredom or something deeper just like even the bible temptation often starts by looking recognize when you're being tempted by shiny new products and take proactive steps to resist think of impulse buying like a game of hide and seek the temptation to splurge on new hair products might lurk around every corner but with a little awareness, you can spot it before it catches you off guard. When faced with temptation, think of yourself as a superhero, your superpower, <laughs> knowing when to dash away from the danger zone and save the day. Sometimes the most courageous action is to run from temptation. Have the courage to remove yourself from situations that stimulate your desire to make impulsive purchases. Like maybe not going to that store in the mall, unfollowing pages or unsubscribing to emails that no longer serve you. Ask yourself, do I need it? Do I really, really need it? So before you hit that buy button, pause and think, why do you feel the need to purchase this product? Is it to fill a void or seek temporary comfort? Identify the source. If it's rising from a state of a want or a state of lack, what is it I want or need? Needs always proceed wants. Think about it for a day or two. If you still need it, then you can purchase it. You can also add to cart and leave it in the cart for 24 hours. Come back if you're still thinking about it. Sometimes brand even, brands even send you emails with a code when you abandon cart. Just cleaning up your cupboard full of hair products or folding your laundry gives you a sense of how much you actually have. Being grateful for what you have helps 
me curb my impulses this can also help you get track best prices for example when i share discount codes you can compare how much you can save using my discount code on the brand's website or compare it on amazon prices while buying from the brand directly is the safest best choice sometimes prices on amazon can be tempting you start your research and then it gets too confusing and then you'll just eventually just give up and not shop when you use incognito mode you get zero suggestions and your browsing history remains private this feature is useful when you want to keep your internet activities discreet and prevent websites from tracking your information so it's a great tool for browsing without leaving a digital footprint ensuring your online privacy and security just remember while your history may not be visible to others your internet service provider and the websites you visit can still track your activities even if it means to take a break from shopping just delete all your shopping apps on your phone adding up the total amount spent in a month can be enlightening and might motivate you to reduce or stop impulse shopping altogether i was introduced to this method from my mother in law when i got married we started recording all our expenses in a shared notebook although i was initially skeptical or felt like it invaded my privacy i soon realized the value of being mindful with my spending habits i'm very grateful for that experience now keeping a track can be tiring so by pausing on spending and calculating the total of your expenses you can gain valuable insights into where your money is going this pause allows you to make more informed decisions about your finances and helps you stay control of your budget what's the one product that has simplified your routine drop it in the comments i'd love to know remember a moment of reflection can lead you to a lifetime of financial wellness Pause to think. How often will you use this product? If it's a hair product, how often will you use it? Is it a multi-purpose product, so you can use it in different ways? Instead of purchasing more po products, pause to think. If if you are wondering about multi-purpose products, I have a list in my product guide. I will share the link in the description for you. While working in corporate HR, I observed that my CEO exclusively process payments every Tuesday. consider designating a specific day each week for expenses mindfully procrastinating like this can provide time for reflection or you might even forget about that hair product you wanted sales can be a great opportunity to save money on items you've been eyeing for a while by waiting for sales you can make more intentional purchases and get more value for your money keep an eye out for discounts promotions and clearance sales to make the most of your budget remember being a savvy shopper doesn't mean sacrificing what you want it's about being smart and strategic with your spending now credit cards can be easy to use and may create like a false sense of security leading to overspending and accumulating debt so to stay safe and protect your financial well-being it's wise to exercise a little bit of restraint when it when you use credit cards and apps so picture two piggy banks one for saving and one for splurging by keeping your shopping fund separate you can indulge in guilt free treat without breaking the bank by transferring a limited amount of money to my shopping account i'm able to control my spending and avoid unnecessary purchases ever felt like you're missing out on the latest hair trends it's like waiting in line for a roller coaster you're tempted to jump the gun but remember the ride isn't always worth it It's natural to fear missing out on latest trends and products but re remember true confidence comes from within not from external possessions focus on building inner strength rather than seeking validation through material things imagine your impulse buying habit as a tangled knot instead of struggling to untangle it alone reach out for help instead of relying on hair products for emotional support consider healthier alternatives whether it's professional therapy sessions seeking support from your church community dealing with your feelings directly is key to breaking the cycle of impulse buying another strategy delayed gratification if i'm tempted to buy something on impulse i wait 48 hours most of the time i realize i didn't really need it and other times brands actually send you an email with a discount coupon because you left it in the cart so it's a win both ways and here is the result healthy styled curls using my personal strategies to keep it simple effective and budget friendly no more impulse buys just thoughtful choices 
If you want more tips on simplifying your routine and saving on products, check out my guide in the description. Let's take back control one curl at a time. Remember, your curls thrive when you make mindful choices, not when you're chasing trends. Stick to your strategies, test thoughtfully and your curls will love you for it. I'm just going to show you like it's I mean it's <laughs> don't miss out on this combination like these products are great and if you bought these two brands use them together like this they work If you have any doubts, anything at all, just comment and I would love to talk to you. Just, I hope you have this joy in your life also. Oh, before I go, you have to see my skirt. Thanks for watching so far and I'll see you next Sunday.